Denvax Dendritic Cell Therapy Half of the cancers arising can be prevented based on what we know today. Cancer formation is a slow process, it takes anywhere from 10 to 30 years and quite a lot of times there is an underlying phenomena of chronic inflammation which is linked to cancer formation. Hi, I'm Dr. Sharmeen and today we are discussing how inflammation is linked with cancer formation, what are the factors that promote inflammation, what are the ways to recognize it and what is an anti-inflammatory lifestyle that helps in reducing inflammation and helps prevent cancer naturally. Inflammation per se is your body's response to any injury, infection or any sort of irritation. Acute inflammation is protective in nature, in fact it is beneficial and it is also used as a potential target for cancer treatment. An example of acute inflammation is if I injure my hand here, there will be presence of redness, there will be presence of heat, swelling and pain and there could also be loss of function. This inflammation is the acute inflammation that arises as a result of the response to injury and is followed by the healing processes or the anti-inflammatory responses. Trouble arises when this inflammation present in our organs is, gets chronic because chronicity promotes tissue damage. So anything that is long standing is prolonged and or which is not going away or getting cleared by the body is of smoldering type is what gives rise to various illnesses including cancer. Any infection giving rise to inflammation or any injury or irritation which is again giving rise to inflammation when it gets chronic or it's not getting cleared by the body is unresolved that is when it leads to chronicity and for example a certain chronic inflammatory conditions like chronic hepatitis gives rise to liver cancer, chronic gastritis gives rise to stomach cancer, likewise chronic bronchitis can give rise to lung cancer and acid reflux disease gives rise to cancer of the esophagus. So as you can see certain, certain chronic inflammatory conditions they predispose to cancer formation. The good idea is to get all these chronic inflammatory states treated in time so that the disease or the cancer does not get a chance to progress. The link between inflammation and cancer was established by a scientist in 1863 uh, called Wei Chao and he proposed that it is the chronic inflammatory sites where mostly cancers arise. But then this theory fell by the wayside and it is just recently over last few years it is recognized that chronic inflammation has been linked with um, as a factor which enables most of the major hallmarks of cancer. In some cancers an inflammatory environment predates or fosters cancer formation whereas in others the inflammation arises after the tumor development. Here it promotes invasion, metastasis, it promotes growth and it promotes progression. Factors that promote inflammation are smoking tobacco, obesity, prolonged exposure to pollution, prolonged exposure to radiation and chronic infections that are not getting cleared or, get, or getting resolved by the body. Also lack of sleep, lack of physical activity, leading a sedentary lifestyle, eating wrong foods and not eating enough of fruits and vegetables. Also alcohol abuse, mental health issues, presence of stress, these are some of the factors that promote inflammation. It is estimated that up to 30% of malignancies are related to inhaled irritants which includes tobacco smoke, it also includes silica, asbestos, coal or radon, cadmium and so many others. The chemical irritants are failed to be cleared by the body, they serve as a nidus to promote chronic inflammation or they may act as carcinogenic in themselves. Another important factor which is contributing to increased risk of getting cancer is being overweight, obesity and not being physically active. It has been estimated that about 90% of cancers are attributed to chronic inflammation which is linked to lifestyle and environmental exposures. Well the question is how do we recognize inflammation in our body? It is hard to recognize inflammation because it is mostly silent and uh, there are no 
uh, signs and symptoms as such most of them are ill defined and vague still uh, some features that suggest inflammation are any ongoing pain presence of stress low energy levels presence of fatigue or any features of indigestion like bloating abdominal pain acid reflux or changes in bowel habits presence of allergies and asthma are also suggestive of presence of inflammation coming to the solution if you have an inflammatory condition that is not going away is present is persistent is prolonged or and it is unexplained also get yourself treated there are specific medicines to reduce inflammation chances are you may be reducing your risk of getting cancer most studies indicate that an anti-inflammatory lifestyle could have an important role in both prevention and treatment of cancer it not only reduces inflammation it also leads to a better quality of life there are better energy levels the mood gets elevated there is an overall feeling of well-being and we are also in turn preventing a large number of chronic inflammatory diseases which is giving rise to almost 72% of deaths globally these diseases are heart disease respiratory diseases digestive problems and a lot of other chronic inflammatory illnesses the key to leading an anti-inflammatory lifestyle is having a healthy pattern of diet and nutrition weight control exercising regularly and managing stress an anti-inflammatory diet and lifestyle has the power to inhibit several of the events that lead to cancer development foods to eat are fruits and vegetables foods and vegetables have hundreds of anti-inflammatory agents it's best we eat fresh fruits and vegetables across the entire color spectrum fish is one of the best anti-inflammatory food so eating foods that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids contributes to a lower inflammation omega-3 fatty acids are rich in fish and flax seeds also eating specific anti-inflammatory foods like avocados olive oil walnuts and almonds also helps to reduce inflammation fish is one of the best anti-inflammatory food however it is crucial to consume fish which has low toxin levels and low mercury levels now some foods are pro-inflammatory they cause inflammation to flare up these foods if we it's not easy to avoid them completely but if we succeed in avoidance of these foods we are on a road to a much healthier and longer life foods to avoid are the whites the white rice white flour uh, salt sugar uh, red meat with fat and high fat dairy products all these are pro inflammatory so they need to be taken in reduced amounts and avoidance is the best approach focus on the fats that you're consuming trans fats present in fried foods like french fries are pro inflammatory also saturated fats present in red meat full fat dairy products and butter are also pro inflammatory highly processed foods frozen foods canned foods and sugary drinks are all pro inflammatory water is still the best drink eat foods in moderation like whole grains legumes beans and seeds they help to regulate blood sugar levels and insulin levels and they also have a high fiber in content but they also contribute to inflammation when taken in excessive amounts therefore eating in moderation is key alcohol is also pro inflammatory it has been classified as a carcinogen by the international agency for research on cancer exercise and weight control sleep management and stress management are as important tools as eating the right foods and nutrition exercise has powerful anti-inflammatory properties and it is it is important to be exercising on a regular basis sleeping has healing powers and so does stress management it is important to find ways healthy and active ways to reduce your stress uh, using techniques like meditation prayers or yoga or whatever suits you best you should give it a try choosing an anti-inflammatory lifestyle has an important role to play not just in prevention and treatment of cancer but also in the prevention and treatment of numerous lifestyle diseases like diabetes heart disease digestive diseases and lung diseases 
My giveaways for today are 5 useful tips on cancer prevention. Look out for cancer-causing agents around you. Protect yourself and your family from these agents. Choose an anti-inflammatory lifestyle. Be informed of the warning signs and symptoms, as early diagnosis leads to improved chances of survival and better treatment outcomes. Getting regular health checkups is a good idea. Participating in screening programs helps to get cure in cancer. If you have an existing or chronic inflammatory condition, pay attention now. Consult your doctor and get yourself treated. There are specific medicines and treatments to reduce your chronic inflammatory states. Chances are you may be reducing your risk of getting cancer. Lastly, keep in mind no one is immune to cancer. When in doubt, speak with your doctor. Wishing you best of health and happiness. Thank you.